another episode of Monday's Workbench. This weekend we went to the Indianapolis Expo. Uh, we had our bikes on display. Uh, had pretty cool stuff set up there, a lot of cool vendors. Uh, we were there underneath the pioneers of Hoosier Motorcycling uh, booth. We got interviewed uh, as representatives of the racing community. Uh, Garrett also represented the youth and upcoming riders, racers of uh, motorcycles, just in general. Uh, we got uh, got to check everything out, got to see a lot of people and talk to a lot of people. Uh, after Sunday, we tore down. Uh, that was 5 o'clock. 5.30, we were out of there. Our family's pretty efficient, packing up, of course. Um, we do that every weekend. Nevertheless, we thought we'd meet my in-laws at uh, a local establishment up there uh, off of Benford. Uh, had our trailer, Stacy's Cadillac, everything locked up. And to our surprise, as we returned from the restaurant at 7.30ish, there's a guy in the passenger side of our Cadillac rifling through our stuff. Carissa approached him and uh, I wasn't too far behind her. Uh, of course, I gave him commands to walk away and get away from our stuff. Uh, Stacy and Garrett then circled around and discovered that the trailer on our door was all the way down in the back and that he had loaded up a bunch of our stuff inside of his the bed of his pickup truck. Helmets, goggles, you know, sunglasses, blankets, drinking packs, uh, heart rate monitor for Garrett's Garmin. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. We started looking around and noticed that uh, he'd cut the straps on our motorcycle. Apparently he didn't know how to undo those real complicated things, so he just cut them. Um, and was about to take our motorcycle. Uh, of course, I ordered him down on the ground. You know, being an uh, Indiana State Trooper, I identified him myself. Uh, I did have my firearm with me. Um, he complied luckily, uh, and we got him subdued until, uh, IMPD showed up and, uh, my fellow co-workers from the Indiana State Police. Uh, he was, uh, arrested. Uh, we got our stuff back, at least we think. Uh, he had made comments that, uh, you know, he was sorry he'd made a mistake and he was just trying to look for some things to pawn and, and whatnot but uh nevertheless uh got the bad guy in jail so what's on my workbench this week uh this was one of my master locks that we had on there and uh you know we had that on the back of the trailer uh this guy used a dewalt cutoff wheel and cut the cut the thing right off there that's the kind of nerve of people we're dealing with uh this guy had enough time to smoke a cigarette and put it out in our trailer uh you know he was pretty uh pretty aggressive individual so uh i guess the tip for this week is uh be aware of your surroundings uh take note where you park your your trailer and all your racing equipment uh never underestimate anybody uh there's a lot of good people out in this world, and uh, but there's a couple of bad guys out there. So I encourage you to talk to your family. Uh, our family had a good plan. We communicated during the situation, getting a hold of the local authorities. Uh, I don't encourage you to take on someone. Uh, sometimes your property isn't worth protecting, and uh, your safety is the most important. Uh, but I want everyone to take this as a lesson, even the police you know, become victims sometimes. Uh, this guy realized pretty quick he made a bad mistake and uh, luckily the good guys won on this one. We got our gear back. Um, so have a plan, be smart, look around your surroundings, uh, lock your stuff up. Uh, you know, if somebody wants in there, they're gonna get in there either way, but that might've slowed him down a little bit. Nevertheless, I look forward to seeing everyone Kind of a downer on this one we got more cool stuff coming up on monday's workbench but uh good luck we'll see everybody soon